I'm saying this because if you don't understand, you're going to live your life blaming people for why somebody is succeeding more than you. All right. I'm going to ask you a question. The thought of, of somebody doing better than you ever cross your mind? Why are you pretending? Somebody you are of the same age, man, or the same class, or the same school, or the same, and you see them doing better than you. Has it ever crossed your mind? Okay. Now, I want to answer that question. Because if you don't have an answer, that's where envy, jealousy, bitterness, and malice will come from. So that's why I want to answer that question so that you know that. And I want to show reason why some people are better than you. So God is no respecter of anybody. Go love us who are equally. But there are things you do, you're going to give, you're going to go, I hate spiritually, financially, whatever area I have the capacity, yes. the ability to increase it. And I also tell you, those of you who also have this belief system, I am not doing well because there are witches, there are wizards, there are people praying against me. It's possible they are but what I'm about to share with you tonight, if you have it, they can't stop you. Amen. You know, you, you, our mind, thought, go through our mind. This is happening. That is happening. That's where, maybe because I'm born in a village or born in Africa or some area, it's inconsequential. When Hallelujah. you are in the kingdom of God. Amen. When you are in the kingdom of God, all of us are equal. Because sometimes we think somebody is doing better than you. I know there are there are people who have a who have this witchcraft syndrome. Mm, that's true, Papa. Witches is wizard. They are there. But I can tell you one thing: when you have proper information, they cannot stop you. Proper. Sometimes we we depend too much on God, mm. because that's what we've been taught. On knowing to us everything we ever need, God has given to us already. Mm. Is what we do with it. Amen. I've been around for a while. I've tried. I believe that some people, God love them, especially I realize it's not true. Mm. How do I know that? Let's start from the first human being. The first children who were born. One is called Cain. Mm -hmm. And one is called why? Abel. One day, they decided to bring sacrifice to God. When they brought the sacrifice, the Bible says, one of the sacrifices was accepted. Another one was rejected. So when Cain realized that his sacrifice was, was what? Rejected. rejected. He was angry. And then he plot and kill his brother because his brother's sacrifice was accepted. Now, the Bible says here, in the book of Genesis 4, for say, and Eber, he also brought forth the first fruit of the flock and over of the fat thereof, and the Lord has respect on Eber and to what his offering, verse 5, but unto Cain and to what his offering, he had no respect, and Cain was very wrought, and his countenance fell him, verse 6, and the Lord said unto Cain, why are thou wrought? And why is the continent failing? If thou dost well, shall that not be accepted? So look at the question now. Can you see now? Who's as a God asks him, if you do well? Stop blaming people for your problem. Some say it's my ex-wife, my ex-husband. That's what they call ex. He ex them out. But they're no longer in your life. Yes, sir. But you can allow them to affect you or you can ask them and move forward. Oh, hallelujah. Now, when you put something in the X, what does it mean? Cancel. Yeah. No more. So why are they still holding you down? God asked him questions. He said, if thou does what well, shall that not be accepted? He said, Ken, you're angry because you didn't do what well. 
So why are you jealous of somebody? Hello? Do you know what they are doing to succeed? Do you know how many hours they pray? Do you know how many hours they fast? Do you know the sacrifice they are doing? You have no idea about, you say, where is she wearing the fine clothes? Where does she have this kind of a car? Where does she, where did, you don't know what they have done. God is no respecter of any color. Mm. It's the life you live. It's what you do mm. that is causing you to go to what you're going to do now. So, do you get the point now? Yes, so sir. here now the Bible says Cain was angry against his brother. Then God asked him, why are you angry? If you have done well, I would have accepted your sacrifice. You are getting angry against what your brother was what? unnecessary. All of us here are British citizens. Or you are an American, whatever you are, we have the same hour, the same day. The government does not love one citizen more than another citizen. The law cover all of us as well as a citizen. But the reason why you suffer because why, you don't know the law. You don't know what law say in this area. You don't know what is there for you to, uh, to, to explore and to enjoy. As a children of God, there are things God has made available for us. But they, because we do not know, we do not want to assess them. Mm. So God told him, why are you angry? Against your brother, the brother did the right thing. So that means, if I do the right thing, God will bless me like everybody. Oh, hallelujah. That's why I can never envy and jealous somebody because why? I don't know what to do to succeed. There's something to know I don't know. If somebody is succeeding, ask Christian. There's something they know. That's There's true. something they are doing. There's some level of information they have. That's true. Because God loves, he asked him, why are you angry true. against your brother? If you do well, Will you not be rewarded? That's true. If you do well. Because Cain brought corn. God is not interested in corn. He's interested in blood. How do you think Cain and Ebed decided to make the sacrifice? The father told them. They didn't do it on their own. The father told them. The father told them. They have no way they will know about sacrifice. They didn't know nothing. They're the first human being on planet Earth. The father told them. The father would kill an animal and take the, the, the skin of an animal and cover them. So he knew about sacrifice. Yes, sir. So now the time came now. They decided to make a sacrifice. You know what they do now? Abel follow the blueprint. Can say, I want to do it in my own way. Mm. And your own way now have made you lose things in life. Mm. Please, God loves us equally. Say wow. amen. Amen. I don't care. Oh, now, somebody said, but apostle, uh, because I'm born into a witchcraft family.